One day, in a peaceful dragon valley, a flood was coming. The dragons decided to escape. Their problem was they didn't have where to go. One brave dragon named Phydrake decided to go and search for the realm of heaven, the place where all dragons have lived and will live in peace forever. Hey Sorrel, tomorrow I will go and look for Gilbert Greytail. Rosa told me he has great maps that can take us to the rim of heaven. Sounds great, but I want to go with you. It doesn't sound as a great idea, but you can come if you promise me not to disturb. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Phydrake and Sorrel flew through the sky almost for a whole day. Finally, they landed in a big city. But still, there was a problem. If the humans saw them, they were going to take them to a zoo. They hid in an abundant factory. Now let's look for Gil- Shh! I hear someone coming. Is there someone in here? Whoa, a dragon! Hey kid, please don't shout. Don't shout it because we don't want to get discovered. Am I getting crazy or you really are a talking squirrel? Well, almost a squirrel. I'm a brownie. We are looking for some warehouses. Do you know where they are? I know where that is. I can take you. I'm Ben. What's your names? I'm Fire Drake, the Great Dragon. Fire Drake, you're not the Great Dragon. I'm Sorrel. Sorrel, let's go. I'm sorry, Fire Drake. You can come. Sorrel and Ben walked through the city and they went into an abandoned warehouse. They went into a big room where they found Gilbert Greytail. Welcome to my house. Hi, Gilbert. We need a map to go to the Rim of Heaven. Let me see. I don't remember a place called the Rim of Heaven. You're telling me we came all the way to this big city and you don't know where the big mountain the dragons called the Rim of Heaven. Oh, you're talking about the Everest, the biggest mountain in all Earth. I think we're talking of the same place, but you don't know where it is. Yes, I know where that is. Take this map. The orange spots are the dangerous places. The green spots are the safe ones. Thanks for the map. You can't go without pain before. I can give you a pen. That's okay. Have a good trip. Sora and Ben went back to the abandoned factory where they decided to depart and go to the rim of heaven. They flew for some hours, but they had a problem. Sora wasn't the best using maps. So Sorrel took them directly to one orange spot where they landed and slept. The next day, they wake up with a giant evil castle in front, where an evil dragon called Nettlebrand lived in. Hey Sorrel, do you even know what you did? Yeah, I know, I made us land in one of those orange spots, but nothing bad happened yet. As you said yet, I think we should keep going. One of Nettlebrand's slaves, just in front of him, a dragon is outside the castle. He decided to go and hunt him and torture him until he tells him where do all dragons live. Before Nettlebrand got near them, they continued their journey to the rim of heaven and Nettlebrand followed them. 
Starro. This time, try not to guide us directly into an orange spot. Last time happened, but this time my great instinct won't guide us there. They kept flying until they go to Egypt and met Professor Barnabas, a great archaeologist. Then they continued their journey to the rim of heaven. But what they didn't know was they were guiding Nettlebrand into the biggest dragon group. I think we're almost arriving to the rim of heaven. I think this time you're right. From here, I can see lots of dragons in the gigantic mountain. Just when they arrived to the rim of heaven, Nettlebrand appeared. Who are you? I am Nettlebrand, the great dragon, and I will eat you all as if you were my dinner. I think it will be that, but all the way around. Hey, I require the help of all dragons to kill this evil dragon. Sorrel, look what you cost. After some time of fighting, the dragons go to defeat Nettlebrand. Ben got adopted by Professor Barnabas. Fire Drake got back to the Dragon Valley and called all the dragons to the rim of heaven and Sorrel stayed with them. <laughs>